Welcome to our review of the rad new Telestrations 80s, 90s expansion pack from The Op, who we have to thank for sending us a copy of this expansion pack to check out. So the Telestrations 80s and 90s expansion pack is the first official expansion for Telestrations, featuring 50 new cards that can be added to any edition of Telestrations. This expansion was published by The Op in 2021. This small card pack has an MSRP of $12.99. Now, Telestrations 80s and 90s Expansion Pack has 600 new words and phrases spread over 50 cards with 80s clues on one side and 90 clue, 90s clues on the other. Now, a copy of some version of Telestrations is required to use this expansion. Now, for a look at these new cards, I invite you to check out our Telestrations 80s and 90s Expansion Pack unboxing over on YouTube. Now, I gotta say, this is one of my shortest unboxings I've ever done because there really isn't a lot in this expansion. It's a single card pack that includes new clue cards and two rule cards, including one optional rule variant. Not quite as short as some promo pack unboxings, but close. Now, that being said, you don't need a lot of time to show off, even with all this densely packed content. So, how do we use these new cards with our existing copies of Telestrations? So using this expansion can't really be any easier. You basically decide if you want to use it or not. You can either decide to use all these new cards, all the, they call them the decade cards, or mix them in with your existing cards. Now the 80s sides represent this side and the 90s sides represent that side when determining which clues you're going to use. Now 80s clues include things like mixtapes, where's the beef, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and Claymation. Whereas 90s clues include things like Lunchables, Booyah, The Matrix, and Mallrats. Now, one nice touch that I do like here is they included band names for song names and also a few other cues like Broadway musical for cats. And they do make it clear that you don't need to include the band name or extra information in your guess. It's just there to help you remember who wrote Jump, the Pointer Sisters or Van Halen. Now, due to the fact everyone's knowledge of these pop culture references will vary, the new optional rule allows players who don't know what their specific clue is, the one that got ruled, to instead choose another card, uh, another option on the same card. So you don't want your 11-year-old trying to figure out how to draw I Pity the Fool when they have likely never seen Mr. T in their lives. All right, so what did you think once you actually got in some games using these new cards? So as a child of the 70s, who was a kid in the 80s and went through my teen years in the 90s, I love these new cards. Um, as you can see in our unboxing, even reading off the first card from the box, I was smiling and happy. I was like, oh, yeah, this is perfect. I get it. Whoever picked these words and phrases did a great job in their selection. All right. Well, now, while I'm certain that with only 300 clues from each decade, someone will be upset that this didn't get included or wondering why that was included. Mm -hmm. You can't please everyone all the time, but they've done a spectacular job with the, in the limits of the production run. Now, that said, I am glad there's the new optional rule. As even living through both these eras, there were some clues on some of the cards I actually didn't recognize, and it was nice to be able to officially skip them and pick a different clue. Now, I'm pretty sure that with our group, if that rule wasn't there, we probably would have come up with a similar house rule anyway, but it's nice to make it official. Yeah, no, it's a party game. If you're not having fun, something needs to be fixed. Now, the one potential problem with this impact expansion pack came up when I decided to see how well it worked with my kids. So I, I, I gave it some thought before sitting down to play, and I was thinking, due to the nature of Telestrations, the way Telestration plays, that my kids should be able to play with these even if they don't understand the reference. While I was thinking my girls could surely come up with a drawing for whatever the clue was without actually knowing the reference. This, unfortunately, didn't play out as well as I had hoped. Um, as Sean mentioned with Mr. T, or while you can pretty easily come up with drawings for, say, Clerks or Clueless, even if you don't know both of those are movies, it's pretty hard to come up with a drawing of U2 or Air Jordans if you don't actually know the reference. Now, to be fair, I am certain the target market here is not <laughs> kids that are teens right now. And I think most people picking this up are going to be people people familiar with the two decades that are featured in it. So I'm not considering this a knock against the expansion at all, but it is something to be aware of. If like me, you thought maybe oh, I'll get this and my kids will still be able to use it. 
you're probably not going to be able to toss these in every game you play. It's easy enough to overestimate the applicability of experiences and how they impact our knowledge of the material. I'm sure even the region you live in will have a strong mm -hmm. impact and you may have in fact just completely missed some experiences that others consider universal. Now an actual complaint I have about this expansion, it's a small one, is what do I do with this now? How, how do I store this? Unfortunately, these cards don't fit into the card holders that come with any of the currently in print versions of Telestrations, nor is there really a good place to, to put these in the box, in the original game box. Now, I will say, for those of you with the 12-player party pack that comes with the extra 300 cards, you can, if you put those in the box, you now have a gap in the insert that you could probably fit these in, but they won't fit in with the box. And there's a little bit more than 300 cards here with the rules, so they tend to slide around a bit. So it's just not perfect. Um, you, you can almost fit it. And honestly, I can't fault the op for this. Like, this expansion came out long after the original game was released. I'm sure they didn't know it was coming when, when they planned the box insert for Telestrations. And honestly, if they had left a gap for expansions, I'm sure there'd be people out there complaining, why is why don't my card fit in this holder and why are they loose? Why is there a gap? So this isn't a deal breaker, but it is just a, it is just something that bothered me as a gamer who likes to keep their games all organized and sorted and in, in perfect shape, right? Just it, it bugs my 5S quality brain. It really is a minor quibble, if one that does need to be noted. Overall, I love this small box. Uh, cheap expansion, right? Nice. Cheap expansion. Adds some fantastic 80s and 90s clues to a game I already love. Um, as a Telestrations fan, and especially as someone who lived through the two decades highlighted in here, I'm extremely happy with this pack. Honestly, any Telestrations fan that's old enough to remember the 80s and 90s should just go pick this up. I don't see any reason why you would. Where I'm not sure is with younger gamers. I don't know how many younger gamers we have listening to our show, but you're awesome if you do. I don't know how much you'll get out of this expansion unless you're a real history buff or you know, you're know you a fan of a specific period. Uh, the clues here can be really specific. And while there's a useful optional rule to help people who may not get all of the references, I worry younger gamers are gonna have a good chance. The younger the gamer is, the more chance, you're not gonna recognize any of the things on a, one of the cards though it might also be a chance for you to bombard your kids with all the 80s media you can in an attempt to train them. There you go. That's it. After we're done, Telestrations, we're going to sit down and you're going to let me know all the ones you didn't get, and we'll fix that by next week. Well, that's it for our review of the 80s and 90s expansion pack for Telestrations. When you have time, I also invite you to check out the written review over at tabletopbellhop.com. Now, for even more Telestrations content, I invite you to check out our reviews of the Telestrations 12-player party pack and our review of Telestrations Upside Drawn, a rather strange team-based version of Telestrations, which unfortunately isn't compatible with this expansion. 